Good evening. It's lovely to be with you for Compline on this Wednesday night. Before we begin, let's take a moment to get settled and comfortable where we are. Take a few deep breaths to help yourself relax. As you breathe in, we breathe in for the Holy Spirit to come in and fill us. And as we breathe out, we let go of the day that has just passed and any fear, any anxiety, so that we may be centered, relaxed and present before the Lord. So let's do that now. Breathe in. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Breathe out. Let go of the stresses of the day. Breathe in. And out. The God of peace grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The angels of God guard us through the night and quiet the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but last labour that we haste to rise up early and so late to take our rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. We have wounded your love, O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness, light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God in whom we live and move and have our being. All that we are, have been and shall be is known to you. In the very secret of our hearts you know all that rises to trouble us. Living flame burn into us, cleansing wind blow through us, fountain of water well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Once Jesus was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God was coming, and he answered, The kingdom of God is not coming with things that can be observed. Nor will they say, Look, here it is, here it is, or there it is. For in fact the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to the disciples, the days are coming when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and you will not see it. They will say to you, look here or look there. Do not go, do not set off in pursuit. For as the lightning flashes and the lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. The word of the Lord. Now I wonder what you make of this evening's reading. For me, I cannot help but feel for the disciples and 
those gathered with Jesus? It seems only natural a question and a pondering that they may have had from time to time about the kingdom of God or what's going to happen in the future or where God is at work. They've been traveling with Jesus a long time, seeing him teach to crowds, heal people, eat and have conversation with countless others. It seems like Jesus is up to something, knows a whole lot more than they do, and so it would be natural to kind of wonder about all that is going on, all that they are seeing and participating in. So where's the kingdom of God? Is it over there somewhere? Or is it over here or somewhere else? I'm sure many of you have wondered that from time to time. I know I have. But Jesus says, the kingdom of God is among you. The kingdom of God is right here. It is natural and quick to, for us to be able to recognize and see God's work in the lives of other people, other countries, other situations. It's really hard to see God's presence and activity in our own lives. And so we are reminded tonight that while indeed God is busy, active and alive, working in and through many people in different ways and different situations, God is also right here in our own neighborhoods, on our own street, and in our own lives. For the kingdom of God is among us, and we are a part of the kingdom of God. Amen. Preserve us, O God, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Preserve us, O God, waking and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done, let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us all dear to us and all who have no peace. 
the night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Keep watch, dear God, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Gracious God, support us all the day long of this earthly life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes. The busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, O oh God, in your mercy, grant us safe lodging, a holy rest and peace at the last through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the language closest to our hearts, we pray as our Saviour taught. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen.